together for the comedy capital of China. Sujo! <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I'll be the last one today, tonight. And uh, so are you ready? Are you ready to like go out with a bang? Yeah! Comedy and this dude is going to read up from some book. How could he know that's exactly what we would like him to do? <laughs> I think it's intuition. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have uh, I've chosen this book because it's my favorite book. And uh, yeah, I want you to hear a chapter from it or so. And uh, it's uh, the name of the book is. Burp. It's a book about birds, <laughs> and it's uh, written by Helmut, Helmut von Flensburg, my um, uh, favorite author. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know those situations where a stand-up comedian is like, uh, instead of writing comedy the night before, he went out drinking? <laughs> uh, this is, this is not that situation. <laughs> okay, birds, everybody. Birds. Exciting, eh? Hmm? You ready to hear something about something about birds? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay good. <clears throat> Chapter one. The seagull. Yeah? <laughs> ready for this? Okay, the seagull. The male duck mates for life. So does the pigeon. The seagull, however, is a whore. Uh, to keep this prime slut of the aviation world faithful is like keeping Silvio Berlusconi out of underage vaginas. That's a weird, obscure uh, <laughs> European reference. I think he's German, this dude. Okay, okay natural habitat. The seagull lives in coastal areas like harbors, where they can be seen gang raping dead fish in containers. <laughs> or they'll be found on beaches where they'll most likely hang out with the second most slutty of God's creation, the Australian <laughs> surfer. Surfer, for that matter, faithful uh -huh. is like trying to keep Chinese girlfriends from buying couple t-shirts. <laughs> that's, that's one reference I could understand. The mating screen. Okay. Uh, should you have become interested in this feather-covered run, Jeremy of the Sky, you can go to any seagull-infested area, clo uh, close your eyes, and clearly be able to distinguish the characteristic mating screen. Read it out, phonetic example. Oh, that's me, okay. <clears throat> the mating screen. I'll try it. That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> the mating screen. seagull in one sentence <clears throat> will be this. To keep a seagull faithful is like trying to keep a middle-aged Chinese man's eyes out of a western teacup sized cleavage. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Do you want a new bird? Yeah! yeah. Oh, want a new bird? Okay. <clears throat> the, let's see, we'll take the pigeon. Does that sound good? The male pigeon mates for life. The question is, of course, why? <laughs> what would the repercussions be for a male pigeon if you fox around? <laughs> he most likely doesn't have a big, unpleasant German wife. <laughs> who constantly bitches about his obsession with birds, or gives him hell for getting a boner and playing Angry Birds. <laughs> Is 
This is a pizza Helmut. <laughs> Helmut. Oh. Sorry about that. Okay. <clears throat> act out the following example. Okay, that's me. Okay. I need to act now. <laughs> Follow me, please. Okay, so there's a male pigeon, and he has just let me see. Had his way with some skank of an underage pigeon slut <laughs> right in the middle of People Square. I'll be Shanghai. He's now flying back to his wife, who is, and she's she's here, and she's seen everything and is gonna pull him through the guilt grinder. You know about that guy. <laughs> Uh, for the sake of effect, she has placed herself on the edge of the roof of the Shanghai government building. What a bitch. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna act this out. Let me see. Yes. Male pigeon flying home. <laughs> that was good though. Uh, she's gonna hand my ass to me in a verbal play though. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Well, there she is. <laughs> So, I... And she's pissed because she saw everything. So she's like giving him the most angry look that a, that a pigeon can. She like looks at him like this. <laughs> she can't look angry, she doesn't have any eyebrows. Right? <laughs> but he knows what's up. And then she of minus 30 degrees Celsius. In Fahrenheit, that is uh, equally cold. <laughs> From the fact that the penguin has chosen this most, <laughs> the most uninhabitable place on Earth to live, we can conclude that the penguin is extremely adaptable and, in fact, extremely stupid. <laughs> Okay, the life cycle of the penguin, real short. The female lays an egg. I don't know anything about the penguin, do you? <laughs> no. No? Uh, the female lays an egg that the male puts up into himself to keep warm. The female then leaves her partner behind and seek warmer waters to spend the winter. Act out following example. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. It's, 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 this is a male penguin, female penguin. Okay. <clears throat> and now the female penguin. Sorry, Abby. Honey! Honey! It, it's our kid! Hooray! Does it look like me at all, though? <laughs> it's an egg. Alright? <laughs> oh, no, it's black, though. No. No worries. Oh, but it's cold, it's minus 30 degrees here. What should we do with this? Like, can you do something? Are you gonna warm it or something? What are we gonna do? Us? I think it's your turn now. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> Shove it up my ass or something? <laughs> He's dying. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding. <laughs> Oh, that looks 
looks nice. Thank you very much. Well, it seems like you have everything under control. I think I'll seek warmer waters for the winter. <laughs> what is close? Uh, South Africa, I think? Mmm, sounds good, eh? White beaches, exotic drinks, oiled up sea lions. <laughs> <laughs> See you. Sucker. <laughs> <laughs> the microphone doesn't follow me. <laughs> that is a problem. Let's see what happens. <laughs> hmm. There, oh, wait, the male penguin, we're not done with penguin. The male penguin then looks around and realizes that there are only males left on Antarctica. <laughs> and in order to survive the winter, they have to cluster together to keep warm. <laughs> That makes for awkward conversations when you have a big foreign object on your acting. More acting. Hey, buddy. It's cold, eh? That's pretty cold. Dark. I do have three dark, you know, see this on Do you have an egg up your ass? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Of course I don't have an egg up my ass. What? Do you? Me? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> <laughs> what about you over there? Do you have an egg up your ass too? Me? No. <laughs> I don't. But I do have an egg shaped, <laughs> egg shaped rubber butt plug though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun guys! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well I guess that's the pink one. Okay, if if you if you like what you've heard, then I guess you can uh, look up uh, Helmut von Flensburg in your own private <laughs> library. He has written many a book, one being. Uh,